going to show you a bit about airfoil tools today and I'm going to make it slightly interesting. So I'm going to build this underwater glider. So I had this idea to throw a piece of PLA printed stuff in my pool and see if I can get it to fly underwater from one end to the other. So we're going to build this. So the way airfoil tools works is you start with a sketch. So we'll create a new component first. We're going to build the body first of all. So we'll make a line along which we're going to put the body and we'll make it 250 millimeters, which is a nice size for my 3D printer. And we're going to use a strut. So this is a low drag symmetrical shape and we use that for the body. And to do this, you choose where the nose is going to be, where the tail is going to be, and we'll call this the body. And it's going to go in my pool. Um, it's going to be 3D printed so that it's going to be quite rough. It's going to have lots of print lines all over it. And we're going to make it go at about walking pace, a bit slower. And as you can tell from my accent, we don't have cold water down here in Australia. And if you turn on your text comments, it'll tell you a bit about the computations that went behind the reasoning for why it selected this particular shape for that. So for what we've done, this happens to be the best. So we'll turn that into a body by revolving half of it. And we'll put it around its middle axis, 180. We're going to build half the glider and then duplicate it for the print. That's the idea here. So here we go, we have the half. All right, so now we'll do a wing for it. Um, we'll create a new sketch for that. And get rid of the bit we don't want to see. So airfoil tools put in the center moment point for the strut already, so I think we'll use that as where we're going to put our wing. We'll put it around there. And so I'll make it 40 millimeters long. And we're going to turn this line into a construction line. I'll tell you why in a minute. I pushed X, that's how you make the line construction. So we're now going to do a wing. Um, so the way we do wings is you select the nose, the tail, and if you want it to be automatically rotated, you select the line. Um, now you notice when I pointed at the line before, I already had that selected. So we'll go ahead and choose wing. So it's already chosen the line that I had selected. Nose. Now we'll call this the front wing. No, just wing. Again, it's the pool. We have rich turbulence and 3D printed mess. Same speed, same temp. And we'll insert that. And again, here it tells you all about the foil and the reason that it chose that particular one. Now we'll extrude this into a wing sketch that's in the way there. Let's show the body where it is. Leaf extrude. Now the whole thing was 250, so let's make each wing half the length of the body. So we've got a wing. Now let's put a tail on this thing. Now we're going to make the tail go at 45 degrees like you see in the um, those drones. So the sketch is back on. The bodies are in our way, so we'll put a 45 degree plane on that one. And create a sketch on that one. size of the main wing. And again we'll make that a construction line. And we'll have a look at those sketches in the way now. And the back 
the, the tailplane of an aeroplane is not supposed to provide lift, so we're going to use a strut for this one, just a low drag shape. And going in this direction. And once more, for the average water conditions, it will be printed badly. Coming out speed. Now these are very low Reynolds numbers, so um, the ideal shape for anything this low is generally a flat plate more than a foil, so that's why you'll find them very, very skinny here. Extrude this. Oops, you got to finish this off before you do that. Oh, looks like it's going to let me. So let's make it 40 mils. Two mils on. And that should be half our finished product and of course turn it into a fully working so it looks nice. I'm going to 3D print it in parts anyway but um, I'll just show you what it looks like in the end. Rearing that. Ah, I've done something wrong there. Where's it gone? Undo. Let's try that again. I'm going to mirror those. Arrgh. Wrong this plane. Thank you. Right there. There we go. So here's our glider. Now I might, I might cut a little hole in the middle here so I can put a piece of um, a lead sinker or something in so that it sinks better in the pool. Alright, so that gave you a brief introduction to airfoil tools. Um, as you saw in the sketch environment, it exists as a drop down. Um, these two work at the moment, I'm still building the rest of them. Um, they're quite powerful so it's, it's worth reading about um, what I did here. You can go into the tools area and if you choose this option instead um, it's the same thing this will create a sketch and put it in so instead of adding to the sketch you this creates a new one um, this one also tells you a little bit about what it is that is going on behind the scenes where the air force came from um, I've been working on this for. so go ahead and grab this from the fusion app store and have a play thank you